Hello, I'm glad you could connect in. Today, I want to talk about COVID as we come to the one year anniversary. Let's pray. May the words of my mouth and the thoughts of all our hearts be guided by God, and the Father, Jesus, Saviour, and the Sacred Spirit. Amen. This week, we've had the one year anniversary since COVID was declared a pandemic. We've seen changes in this year that we could not have imagined. Many have suffered from COVID and died during the pandemic. And there is still a long way to go through the pandemic. We must remember that right now there is a rise of cases in BC as well as uh, an ongoing vaccine rollout. But we've also seen good things happen. And as always, God is bringing blessings out of a bad situation. Today, I want to take a break from our Lenten sermon theme to talk about what God has been doing through COVID, both here in Trail and across the country. I spent most of 2020 playing catch up with the constant changes that COVID brought. Within a week of the outbreak, we'd started an online service, the online service that we're still using today. It's unique. Nobody else that I know of is doing what we're doing, but it works for us and it gives us choices about how we worship. Of course, we miss worshipping together and especially we miss the Eucharist. But because we've moved online, we have members who could not come to worship before uh, COVID because of health or other issues. I heard uh, today about somebody who is listening to our service in uh, one of the huts on the ski hill. People can have the service where they want and when they want. Some of us are joining Bishop Lynn each night for Compline, and that's been a great encouragement. Of course, there have been challenges. We've had to adapt the service for this new online context. I've had to improve my technical skills to create professional looking, well, trying to pre pre create professional looking videos. We were concerned about the giving and our finances, but thanks to government grants and your generosity, our parish finances are strong. Like many of my colleagues, I am stressed by all of this change, but I know that I'm doing the go job that God has called me to. We found new ways to engage our community. In the summer, we held outdoor neighbourhood gatherings using a model of gospel-based discipleship. In the fall, we held wild church and online Zoom parties for our youth. We've had Zoom Bible studies and the inevitable Zoom meetings and even AGMs. Those have been some of our experiences as a church. And I know from my research that they are typical for many across the church, across Canada. I want to tell you about three common ways that COVID has changed us. Firstly, there has been an unprecedented outpouring of creativity and change in the church. That change has included the way that we offer services and the content of those services. It happened extremely quickly and it has been sustained. Never again 
can it be said that Anglicans cannot change and adapt because we have shown that we can. Secondly, and this might be the most important one, Covid has broken barriers of time and distance. Just one example, I became Dean for the East Kootenays and we have weekly Zoom meetings uh, for clergy uh, across the diocese. That never used to happen. Covid has brought us closer together even though we're isolated in our homes and parishes. We have people taking this service from across Canada and across the world. The third thing is we have transformed our liturgy. We managed without Eucharist for months at a time. In other churches they still haven't had uh, Eucharist for a whole year. We've worked hard to reshape our services for this new online context. These changes seem to be bringing a fresh new spirit to our worship of God. Of course, there are significant concerns. Covid has brought stress to many, as well as significant ill health to some. Covid has brought a new techno-clericalism which puts technically adept clergy at an advantage and has created new problems for many excellent but technically challenged clergy. Covid has blocked many of the in-person skills which pastors have relied on. Covid may be having an impact on our finances which is masked by the government grants. But in all of this, there seems to be a new normal emerging. There are um, unexpected consequences which we have yet to find. But there is a sense that across the country we're moving towards a hybrid church where there will be both online and in-person services. And that hybrid church model is offering a lot of hope in our area of the East and West Kootenays. Those who felt disconnected from communities and services are suddenly feeling reconnected. Church structures are finding new ways to reach out. The acceptance of a shift to online services and online meetings is solving issues that we've struggled with for decades. And I feel more confident about the future of the church here in Trail and in our parish and across the region and the country than I have for many years. And I know that is true for other church leaders. God is at work, bringing blessings out of bad situations. And now I want to take some time to reflect on what Jesus endured. Jesus put himself into a difficult situation. He went into the wilderness, the wilderness that we have sometimes felt we are in through Covid. He faced temptations as we have faced temptations and the angels attended to him. Amen.